Hi everyone, it's uh, Ken again with another commonly asked UVM NTV question. This video will cover the following questions. What happens in the build phase? Why is the phase, or rather, why is the build phase top down? And explain the build phase of a UVM component or other variations of these questions. So what exactly is a build phase? A build phase is a function as it does not consume time. It executes after the topmost component, that is the UVM test bench root uh, node has been instantiated. And so what's the order of execution? Um, so order of execution for a build phase is top down. It extends from UVM top down phase class. The only other phase that is top down is the um, the final phase, of course, the last phase. Um, however, in contemporary design verification um, environments, really not really use final phase much. So in essence, typically someone can ask you what's the only top down phase and you can apply with the build phase, but just for completeness purposes, final phase is also top down. Then what is it mainly used for? So a build phase is mainly used to instantiate component and subcomponent using the factory definition of these classes. And of course the build phase is gonna drop objection uh, so that the simulation can continue on to the next phase once all the components and the subcomponents have been um, essentially built. So another follow-up question that often gets asked is, why is the build phase top down? Um, here I'm going to discuss some important reasons. Um, some important reasons why a build phase um, constructs top down through a test bench component hierarchy. Um, one thing to remember is the low level components, um, the construction of these low level components is uh, postponed um, so that the components that are situated or in the uh, layer above of the hierarchy um, can properly uh, configure these low level components or subcomponents. And intuitively, if you think about it, the top-down constructions, um, like the top-downward construction makes sense as um, the subcomponents are contained within um, the um, uh, upper level component. Um, a good example of um, something like this is a UVM environment um, in which um, first the agent is constructed and then it's followed by its um, the construction of its subcomponents um, like the monitors, drivers, and the sequencers. So that is about it. Uh, please let me know if you have any more questions or comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.